When I was growing up, my football hero was Colin Bell, who was born here in Heseldon, County Durham, which is en route to today's game at Newcastle. And I thought, the only time I've ever been here was with Colin when I was writing his autobiography. So this was a perfect opportunity to revisit where I came with Colin all those years ago. So this is quite a sentimental journey for me. That house there, which has since been converted, it was a pub at one time, was where Colin told me that he practiced kicking a ball against a wall and no doubt many of these streets around here would have run up and down here as well when he was going to the shops. So quite an emotional visit to come back to, um, to Colin's former home here in Heseldon County, Durham. And there are other memories around here as well. The school he went to and the, the beach where he used to pick up pieces of coal. Football was different back in those days. Life was different back in those days when he used to get the bits of coal from the, uh, the colliery that were discarded to put on the family fire. And then of course he played as a very young boy for Horden Colliery Welfare Juniors. So those are probably the dugouts that Colin Bell actually sat in and this is the pitch that he played on when he was 14, 15 and went on to so many great things. This is where it all started, which makes me wonder who are the heroes of today's City fans? Who, who do they look up to? Because for me, it'll always be Colin. Are the club here, you know, you're on the committee. Are you aware of, of that history? Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, we get a lot of Man City fans coming up to visit us as well because of that link we have with Colin Bell. Uh, so we had a couple come last season and present us with this lovely shirt. Um, but yeah, it's something we're really proud of that Colin started his career here. And he was only a kid when he was here, wasn't he? He was, um, and then he kind of left pretty quickly. I think it was the Berry he went initially. Um, but yeah, um, he was part of, we won a cup when, when he was in the under 18s team. He was, he was one of the cup winning captains, so it's something we're very proud of. Is it true also that Stan Anderson played here? He did. And went on to, he was the captain of Newcastle and Sunderland, wasn't he, at one point? He did, yeah, that's right. The old stand before it got knocked down was actually called the Stan Anderson stand. Um, so again, it's something we're really proud of. We're trying to keep those traditions going with some of the big players that we've had in the past. Well, it's nice to see that there's something there that uh, remembers Colin, which was uh, wrought up here by a couple of people I know, actually. Uh, and I, I, have you got any footballing heroes yourself? Who's your hero? Well, I mean, I don't suppose I have heroes now. I mean, watching Man City, I quite like watching De Bruyne. He's not a bad player. Um, yeah, so uh, they're not a bad team, our City. We, we wouldn't mind getting them up for a friendly to celebrate Colin Bell if they fancy it. Um, <laughs> if they can send a team up. I'm sure Haaland would love the area change of rooms up the top there. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a real, real pleasure for us to have the Man City fans come and visit us. This is where young Colin would have come looking for discarded bits of coal from Black Hole Colliery, which was near here. This is Black Hole Rocks. So again, a sentimental place. It certainly would be for Colin and his family. My favourite all-time player is Colin Bell. Yes. Who's yours and why? Uh, I've got to agree with you there because I'm of a certain age like you, Ian. I was born in 1960, so I grew up with Colin Bell. Uh, and after him, it's got to be Alan Oakes for me because he was a strong player for us, re dependable, reliable. But obviously, the modern era, we've got some great players, David Silver, Yaya, Kevin De Bruyne. 
Aguero, they've all been tremendous footballers for us. So, yeah. But I knew Colin well enough to know that he wanted this generation to be better than him. Is there anybody better than him? Uh, I think you've got to think, as, as an all round midfielder, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah, he's, he's up there with Colin. So. But other than that, no, Colin Bell was a complete footballer for me. Followed closely by David Silva. Why would you pick Colin Bell as your favourite player? Because he epitomised everything that we needed at that time. Incredible work rate, fight, power, everything. Amazing. How do you think he compared to what you're seeing now? De Bruyne. He's the next one, is he? Yeah. Sorry, got to go. Colin in at Colin Bell's original home in Heseldon. Yeah. He's my hero. Who's your hero and why? Well, I think Colin Bell straddles that era, doesn't he, 50 years ago. Uh, but you think of the greats today, I mean, Kevin De Bruyne is not in the starting lineup today. To me, Kevin De Bruyne, really, he sort of hits all the spots. Uh, I think Aguero runs him a second close. Kevin De Bruyne, to me, is uh, arguably City's all-time great. Although I'm very close friends with Ian Meller, who played in the same City team as Colin Bell. And Ian says that he is the best player he ever played with. Ian, I'm writing his memoirs at the moment. He's not too well, Ian Miller. I'm sure every City fan will send him his best wishes. But Ian says his big regret at City was that he never played with or against Dennis Law. And having researched, you know what research is about, Ian. I researched uh, Ian's story and I found that he did play against Dennis Law twice. Once his last game of the red shirt for United in 1973 when Tommy Doherty put Dennis Law on the transfer list and guess what, he ended up a free transfer to Manchester City. We all know the rest, the back heel, the famous back heel the season after when he wore the blue of Manchester City for that final season and Ian played against him for Norwich when he played for United and for Norwich when he played for Manchester City. So Ian Mellow's great, on behalf of Ian Mellow, who's very close to me, on behalf of Ian, his greatest player, undoubtedly having played with and all-time great is Colin Bell. For me, Bell is number two to Kevin De Bruyne. I don't know how many great players you've seen at City, but there are a lot these days. Who's the best? Who's your favourite? For me, David Silva. Head and shoulders for anybody else. He was the magician. He knew exactly what to do with the ball. He was unbelievable to watch. Uh, there's so many that come close to Bruyne, Aguero in the modern era. Uh, Kevin Orlock was a favourite for me to watch back in the day just for his tenacity and the way he won the ball, but David Silva for me has to win it. He, would he get in this team that's just won the treble? I think so. I think he would. I think he's one of the few, him and Yaya maybe from that era. Company, if we could bring him back with the armband on, definitely would. But uh, yeah, David Silva was, uh, no one else does it like he did. Who's your favourite ever City player and why? Colin Bell, closely followed by David Silva. Reasons being, Colin Bell was tremendous when I was a, when I was a kid. But David Silva, I've seen him win everything and play unbelievable football. Is there anybody in this team now that's... Kevin De Bruyne runs them close. I just said them two were just a shadow above them. Apart from that, hey, it's great being a blue cheesy. Oh, cheesy. So, Who's your favourite City player and why? It was Gundogan. Probably now it's got to be De Bruyne. He's just an absolute genius. And uh, yeah, there's no more explaining to do for that. He's just been... He's, he's blue through and through, he's, he's just a legend, so yeah. So all time? All time. Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. yeah. Best ever City player, I reckon. So, yeah. What do you reckon? Best right, right now. Well, so, best ever City player, in your opinion? Best ever? It's got to be De Bruyne, hasn't it? He just fucking, he just tears up the midfield, he controls the game. His passing is unbelievable. You don't get any passing out of any player I've ever seen. He's quite humble, really, isn't he? He is humble. He is humble. He doesn't. He doesn't give it all that. He just lets the ball do the work. He talks with the ball. That's what he does. That's Kevin De Bruyne. Who's your favourite City player and why? I like Haaland because he scores all the goals. And he scores all the goals. Yeah. Have you seen anybody else that's uh, that standard who plays as well as him? Just Sterling. Yeah. Who's your favourite City player and why? My favourite player of all time is Alan Oakes. Uh, just because of his longevity, is um, you know, is um, so reliable, consistency, um, 
when I played football, I always like modelled myself on the way he played. Um, but in more modern times, uh, my favourite player is Fernandinho. Uh, again, just another guy who glided round the pitch, could do everything. You know what I mean? And um, he's, he's had a great replacement in Rodri. He's another one who can, can basically do everything. You know what I mean? Um, difficult for anyone to say their favourites, but for me, those are my favourites. Growing up, it was Alan Oakes, uh, and I love Fernandinho, and the modern day one is, is Rodri. And you, you know. picked out, I would say, two unsung heroes, but they don't get the headlines like the goal scorers. Exactly, yeah, do. yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Well, funny enough, I, I had a hospital appointment um, a few years ago. Nothing serious, you know, just something to do with eye drops, you know. And uh, I had a city top on, and the lady who was doing the test said, asked me who my favourite player was, because she saw my city badge, you know. And I said, Fernandinho. And she said, oh, you don't really hear about him, do you? And I said, well, I'll be honest with you, if you don't watch City every week, you probably wouldn't notice him. I said, but when you do watch City every week, you can appreciate what he does. Uh, I know to my type of players, you know, I know we've got fantastic strikers, uh, you know, like Haaland, Aguero, you know, Francis Leo, going all through the years, Uwe Rosler, you know, all fantastic, great defenders, goalies, but um, just my style of football, I love those midfielders who work hard, don't get the recognition or the, like the, the stardom of some other players but just do a fantastic job, uh, you know, week in, week out, you know, so, yeah, it's just my opinion. Phillips, number 10, Jack Grealish, 17, Kevin De Bruyne, 21, Sergio Gomez, I think it's just a bit disappointing that, to be honest with you. I can't, um, I'm not so good at putting things like this into words. I'm just disappointed. I can't say anymore here. Is there a reason that City have gone behind in that first half? I've been playing. I think they just keep sliding balls in behind and they know that the goalkeeper's not quite Edison. I don't think he's looking that confident. And they've had two good shots. He probably got behind us four times and put two in. I don't think there's any rocket science to it. And I'll, 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 come back many times, you think they can no, do it course, again? Yeah, of course we can, yeah, of course we can. I think he'll probably bring De Bruyne on after an hour, and and it might change, but, you know, it's half-time, and I'm feeling a bit down about it. second half, didn't we? Unbelievable team there. How we, if we had to won that, it'd been unbelievable, wouldn't it? Seriously. The difference Kevin De Bruyne made was enormous. Fantastic finish, fantastic. Had a brilliant finish, Moscow there at the end. Cheesy, like I've always said, it's great being a blue. All the best, mate. We don't make it easy, do we? Jesus, whenever we come here, three all last season, one nil start of the season. We don't half like having a good time at St. James's, do we? But, got the job done, Oscar Bob, incredible as he came on, De Bruyne. Looks back to his best already, so you know the title race is back on. Come on, City! Champions again, Lily! Champions again! Champions again! Champions again, Lily! Oh, but we we got hit by the pace in the first half. I thought we were going to swap Aki over the Fabio. Mine's over this one year. Come on, Newcastle! Let's go show what it's all about. What a whirlwind of emotions. First half, we were losing, and then we came back 3 2. De Bruyne has scored. Ah, how real! He made the difference, De Bruyne, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. His goal, and then Bob's two changes. Beautiful. So good. 
that, that is just what that is just a dream that is an absolute dream I tell you you, you can't get better than that you can't get better than that I tell you we deserved it we absolutely deserved it I tell you so brilliant you can see the euphoria of the fans can't you oh look at it Oscar he's got an Oscar for it it's just brilliant it's just a brilliant something like I tell you you can't get better love it he did not deserve to lose that at all. Tempo was brilliant. They had two chances, that was all. Oscar Bob Bob Bob. Oh, that was brilliant. Old Trafford is falling down. This is, this is where the run starts. This is where the run starts again. Come on. Cheesy, brilliant again, brilliant. I think in the second half, Oscar Bob... The boy Bob, made the difference. The boy, the boy made Oscar the Bob. difference. Oh, my God. The boy made the difference. That, that win is going to win us the lead, I'm telling you. That could, that could put That's us over the edge. Hey, the playbook, the playbook. He's going to have a statue eventually, De Bruyne. Oh, yeah. Oh. If you don't get a statue, it's actually... He, just, he deserves any... He's it's just, unbelievable. He deserves more than a statue. Hey, he deserves but, anything. Before he came on, we had nothing. We had nothing. He, he was the difference. Kevin De Bruyne, Oscar Bob. Kevin De Bruyne, my favourite person the whole time. He, he won this game. I started this journey today by calling in at Colin Bell's birth town, Heseldon in County Durham, and talked about him being my hero. I've talked to lots of fans today about their heroes, many picking out Kevin De Bruyne, who came on and made such a big difference in the second half. Maybe Kevin, and I know Colin was a big fan of his, it's Colin Bell, Mark II. Certainly he's a great player and he made the difference today. He scored the goal that leveled things and then the through ball that Oscar Bob 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 scored the winner from. Those are great turning points in the season, aren't they? Thanks very much, you've contributed. Thanks very much to Eminem Artwork and Mirrors, to um, Timson, of course, and to uh, MulchingOffenseLawyers.com for their support. But most of all, thanks for you. Uh, don't forget the audio podcast that we do every week. Fingers crossed Richard Dunn will be on the next one. They'll be recording on Sunday evening. And of course, I will be at Spurs in a couple of weeks uh, for the FA Cup tie. In the middle of all that, I'm going to put up a video of me chatting to Kit Simons about his career. So I'll look out for that as well. But it's great being a blue, isn't it? It really is.